UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Uh, today here, uh, if you observe here, uh, the thing is here, as of now we have uh, six methods here. Okay, if you have six methods, here we have to write the six if-else cases. Right. Say if there is a scenario uh, or if, uh, if you have a project where if you have 100 uh, methods. Okay. Here if you create 100 methods in business actions, we have to uh, we have to write 100 business uh, 100 method, 100 if-else conditions. Okay. So that that's gonna be a uh, mess up one thing. And we have to uh, you know uh, match this uh, this one, whatever the action name here and this one. So this could be a problem. So this can be uh, this can be overcome with, uh, using a concept called reflections. Now I'm going to use a, a simple two lines that can handle. It might be hundred. It might be two hundred. It might be six. Okay. Now see here. Let me complete this and then explain what it is doing. See here, I'm uh, importing this method. Import method Java lang dot reflect. This is a this concept is re, uh, related to reflections. Okay. It is expecting a uh, add rows declaration. Since uh, so no such method, uh, so no such method exception. It means by mistake, if we if okay, let me explain that. Let me compare this. See here, I just commented uh, all these lines. Okay, now we don't uh, bother about if there is any new method. We don't need to come here and we don't need to write a new special condition. Okay, so here this these two lines will, can handle this. Okay, basically what we are doing here, we are you uh, know we are getting the data from the Excel here, right? This we are reading the method. Uh, uh, we are reading the what is the method that we want to execute. Okay, we are reading the, we are getting the method. What is the method that we are going to execute into a variable? Okay, and then basically that is a method name here. Uh, okay, let me Uh, 
Okay. Here I am talking about this. These are the method names, right? Basically, open application, hurdle search. These are the method names. Now we want to execute these method names. So first, what we are doing over here? If this open application, if you are reading open application from Excel, we were doing, we were, we were calling this method over here. But here, we are first getting this method, and we are basically that string. It is a basically a string. We are converting into a kind of a method. So a method. This is the object name of type method. So where is this method is going to be? This S action, say open application. For example, currently S action is equal to open application. Where is this method is going to be? This method is part of this uh, OBA. OBA means it's a business actions. The business action related method. So business action related dot get class get method. It means this string basically converted into an object uh, O method to execute. Uh, this is an object of type method. Okay. Now this uh, normal string is getting converted into a method. Okay. An object of type method. Now here I'm executing it. Invoke. And uh, again I'm saying this. This method is a part of this OBA. Okay. Because of these two lines. Uh, it is going to execute whatever the method that we want. Whatever the method that we want to execute, because of these two lines, we can execute. Okay. So here, uh, there might be a probability that say if we wrongly mention a method name over here. Say here instead of open application, say if I say uh, launch application. Say this method is uh, we did not write launch up. Uh, we did not cover here in the business actions. So it's it's going to throw an error, right? So that error is going to be handled here as part of exceptions. That is the reason here, if you observe here, no such method exception. Okay. So it was asking us to throw an error here. These two are related to uh, reflections concept. Okay. Now let me go here. Do control Z. Um, yep. Now let, let's start debugging this uh, scripts. Uh, now we have driver. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me keep a breakpoint here in uh, business actions. After open applications, in the hotel search, I think uh, you know I'm keeping a breakpoint here. Yep. I think I'll keep here. I'll keep a breakpoint here in the hotel uh, search uh, results. Now let me go to the driver. Now let me say debug as because we are not sure whether our scripts are going to work uh, or not So we will wait for the while. The jeans are keep on hotel. Seems to click on uh, this loading hotels. Now here we get the breakpoint.
this page is loaded what it is doing on here I think probably it is uh, waiting on here Why it is going to wait here? It's, it's the page is appeared, right? We'll see. We'll wait for a while. Let's wait uh, till it's uh, till it throws another. Probably here we have mentioned 90, right? Probably it may wait for 90 seconds. We'll see. You know, let me open uh, Firefox. Uh, I mean, apart from WebDriver, I'm opening uh, the other Firefox. Uh, see here, it is throwing an error in um, Eclipse. See here, uh, throwing an error. Now, see here, it is throwing uh, a error business actions uh, 7209. Yeah. See here, it is throwing an error on this line. So if you look at this log file, here it is saying business actions 71, okay. Uh, it is saying time load exception. It seems uh, this locator, this could not find this particular so-and-so -so object. Uh, what is this object? We have used compare button, right? Compare export. We have used uh, here this compare export. It's a three page. I think we have used this. Uh, seems to be this uh, this locator is not working over here. Uh, we'll see here in um, this. I'm opening an, an, uh, manually here in other browser. Actually, in the driver browser, I don't have this uh, Firebug. Uh, fire okay. If I right click over here, uh, you don't see any Firebug here in the web driver browser. This is web driver browser. Okay. That's the reason op I'm opening a new uh, browser over here. Let me close this web driver browser. This, uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll observe this locator why this is not going to be recognized. It's damn slow here. One. Here it turned up.
Enter. It seems it is turning above here. Uh. Of course, by default, actually, selenium will wait if it is showing a white symbol like this. Even we don't need to write this, the driver writes here. Okay, let me do one thing. Uh, you know, here it is throwing an error here in the business actions. Okay, probably this locator is not, uh, uh, seems to be this locator is not going to work over here. Okay, let me say, let me comment this. I am just commenting this web driver right here. Okay. Actually, we have to change this uh, locator. We have to observe. I, actually, I wanted to observe this locator and I want to update this locator. But so as of now, I am just commenting because uh, you know, if the application shows, uh, shows that a uh, white symbol, selector, it will handle. Yeah, this. We have to execute this driver. So now, again, let me go with the debug and Java application. See, actually it is waiting this closet to get stabilized. It seems this application is damn slow. Okay, then uh, no, I will do one thing. Uh, first, uh, we'll debug this particular uh, first script. Okay, and then we will try to exhibit next two scripts and uh, if it is slow, I will share this project. Uh, just debug at your end, 
and you know if you can fix if there are any issues just fix them if you could not let me know i will i will look into them okay Actually, for this page, we have to wait for uh, four to five minutes. Let's see. It's not doing another, it's just waiting for the browser to stabilize. Here we kept a breakpoint over here. Now I will slowly execute here. See here I kept a breakpoint here. Uh, did you remember the debugging process? And did you remember this uh, toggle breakpoint? See here uh, there is a command F6. I am going to use F6. Okay. And see here I am uh, using F6. Now see here, I am using again uh, F6. Oh, it gets into else condition. Uh, can you all agree here? I used F6 and it was executed this line. After executing this line, it is turned into else condition. It seems this condition is not satisfied. We will uh, dig into the issue why it is not, uh, why it is getting into this. Sir, so, uh, I want to know what is the value that, uh, that this variable contains. Okay. So I am right clicking, there is something called watch, okay, and here, so I am right clicking on this object and I am saying there is something called watch here, okay. Now if we close the object here, let me remove on, what I am saying here, right click on this object, uh, this uh, variable there is something called watch. Watch means it is going to show what is the current value this variable contains. Okay. And we will right click on this object and we will say watch. And basically here we, we have used a concept called contains and expected destination means we are getting from the Excel. Whatever we have entered in the application, we are trying to see whether the same value is appeared in the, in, the, in the application or not. Okay. Now see here. Yeah. If you closely observe these variables, this is the value. As actual destination is coming from the application. Uh, select hotel New York, comma New York. Why it is showing like this? If you see here in the application, basically this value is getting into a variable. Select hotel New York, comma New York. Okay. But whereas we passed 
if past uh, here uh, new or comma and way of course both are same but it is expanding right seems uh, the way that we have written this if condition seems to be wrong this is the part this is the problem with our programming okay see here okay i hope you are getting what i am saying so here we have entered new york comma ny but whereas here it is showing new york comma new york probably what we will do here instead of validating this okay instead of validating this probably we will try to validate this itself the destination whatever the destination that we have entered in the previous screen will see whether the same destination value is there here or not okay we will we'll retrieve this value we will retrieve this value and we will uh, see uh, we will get this value and uh, we will see what are the value that we have entered in the previous screen both are same I hope you are getting what I am saying ok please let me know if there are any questions on this ok this is all the problem here it is showing an error ok now similarly let me go further so this is going to be one problem we have to fix it ok now here uh, uh, see, it is showing expected destination does not display in the hotel search page. Now, see here, this is the hotel ratings. This logic, this highlighted logic, is going to retrieve the uh, hotel uh, hotel uh, uh, hotel ratings. In this page, how many hotel rate, how many hotel uh, are there? It is going to retrieve. It is going to retrieve. Uh, the total number of ratings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are, actually, there are 10 ratings. We will see. Now let me use uh, F6. And this is uh, going to create a file. And this is a print writer object. And here. Uh, First of all, let me get this uh, this hotel rating numbers. So I'm saying watch, and here uh, hotel ratings dot. Let me say let me mention size. Why does we have here it is saying 20 but visual, in visual uh, it is saying uh, when we observe here basically here we have 10 only it seems either the locator that we have used uh, wrong or something is messed up ok here uh, in terms of visibility here we can see 10, uh, 10 hotels only but here uh, here it is seeing 20 here the size of this uh, UI hotel ratings is 20 over here ok that is ok then we will come to this uh, uh, look and if you remember based on this hotel ratings we were trying to find this uh, yellow color uh, ratings if you remember we wrote a logic in this each uh, rating we were, we were finding out the yellow color the ratings ok now we will see how this is going to work ok now we will see what is this value this number of stars right click what is the currently what is the expected value here when we uh, look at the application what is the expected uh, value for this number of stars now when we look at the application any guesses no uh, here I am saying uh, star ratings number of star ratings here actually we find the number of uh, star, uh, number of uh, this one here we have to find the number of hotels ok see here this highlighted line uh, we find the number of hotels I mean number of uh, star ratings should be 10 but we are getting 20 here this object uh, basically this this is expected to be 10 but it is showing 20 we will see why, why it is showing like that ok now here we are in the first iteration of this loop we are in the first iteration and this when I look at this object what is the expected value is 
4. Here because this is a 4 star rating hotel, right? Now the first value should be 4. Now let me get into watch. See here it is saying 210. It seems even this locator is not, uh, this also is not working. If you remember, if you, lo if you go to this locator, Basically, if you go to this locator, this is a this yellow color locator. Uh, if you remember, probably this I know this is a bit kind of confusion. Here, first we if you remember, we wrote the logic to find the number of star ratings here. Okay, so when we look at this application, uh, actually it should show ten. Okay, but the variable is showing twenty. Okay, that is the problem. Just keep it aside. After that, uh, we wrote a logic um, for each. Uh, star for each star rating it is going to validate how many yellow color stars are there okay actually this loop the current loop whatever the loop that we are here this for loop is basically doing that okay it is finding out the number of yellow color loops yellow color uh, stars here okay so here the expected for the first iteration the expected is 4 but it is showing 210 here if you observe this uh, this variable it is showing 210. Okay, let's let's leave that. We'll see. Uh, we'll uh, validate. Uh, let me. We'll validate till uh, here. Now we'll. Look, I think it is the third iteration. Now we'll look at this variable. Again, it is saying uh, 210 here. Okay. Uh, this is the fourth iteration. 5th iteration, 6th iteration, 7th iteration, right. Actually, I am just seeing, you know, whether it can get in, uh, whether it is going into this loop or not, okay. Now, I think we are at 8th iteration. I am just observing whether it, it goes to this uh, if loop or not. Here, I am slowly executing, but it is not getting into this if loop. Probably now if we go here, if we go here, watch, now this is showing this, okay. if, uh, if six, right, so basically it is going to uh, uh, throw the, uh, 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 write this message to the uh, text file. Number of hotels uh, less than three ratings are this one. We will watch how many hotels it has been. What is the expected value? As per here, here it is going to mention uh, number of hotels less than three ratings. What is the expected value as of now here? Here as per this script, what is this value is going to be? It is going to be zero because it did not get into this for loop right so it is saying zero here because this it did not get into this if loop itself it, it did not uh, get into the if loop okay so it is saying that number of uh, hotels less than three ratings are zero h2k emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.